For centuries, astronomers called Venus the twin sister of Earth. Both have almost the same size, mass, and rocky composition. But that similarity is only superficial. Behind the golden light that shines in our night sky, Venus hides a suffocating chemical inferno. Its atmosphere is made almost entirely of carbon dioxide, covered by thick clouds of sulfuric acid. These clouds reflect so much sunlight that Venus becomes the third brightest object in the sky. And at the same time, the most hidden one. Beneath them, the planet boils with temperatures hot enough to melt lead, while its surface is crushed by a pressure 90 times greater than Earth's. A true hell in disguise, masked by the beauty of a celestial glow. It was only in the 1970s that humans finally caught a glimpse of this inferno for the first time. The Soviet missions Venera 9 and Venera 10 in 1975 endured the pressure and heat just long enough to send images from the surface. Black and white photos revealed a fractured, barren landscape scattered with rocks under a thick, hazy sky. A few years later, Venera 13 and Venera 14 captured the first color images, showing yellowish rocks under a heavy orange light. These probes survived for just over an hour before being destroyed by the heat above 470 degrees Fahrenheit. But in one short hour, they changed our perception of the planet forever. For the first time, humanity was staring directly into hell. The Venera photos were a milestone, but they showed only a tiny fragment of the planet. It was NASA's Magellan probe in 1990 that finally unveiled Venus completely. Using synthetic aperture radar, it mapped nearly 98% of the surface, cutting through the toxic veil of clouds. What it revealed stunned the world. Colossal volcanoes, plains covered in solidified lava, deep rift valleys, and elevated regions called tesserae, deformed by ancient tectonic forces. The few impact craters suggested something shocking. Venus's surface is young, constantly renewed. The planet seemed alive, even without oceans or plate tectonics like Earth. Something was still moving beneath the crust. While we studied the ground, another mystery was unfolding high above the clouds. Japan's Akatsuki probe, launched in 2015, began monitoring Venus's atmosphere across different wavelengths. It discovered supersonic winds, gigantic waves, and entire atmospheric layers rotating around the planet every four days a phenomenon known as atmospheric super-rotation. These movements are so powerful that they make the entire atmosphere spin faster than the planet itself. The probe also detected mysterious bow-shaped structures fixed above the mountains, evidence of atmospheric gravity waves, a phenomenon linking the planet's surface to its upper atmosphere. It was as if Venus were breathing, but with winds strong enough to tear apart any human spacecraft. Even missions aimed at other targets brought new insights about the planet. 
NASA's Parker Solar Probe, designed to study the Sun, captured the first visible light images of Venus's surface, something once thought impossible. Its infrared-sensitive cameras recorded the faint thermal glow of the night side, revealing mountains, plains, and hotter regions beneath the cloudy veil. Other missions, such as BepiColombo and Solar Orbiter, during their gravity assist flybys, detected gases escaping from Venus's atmosphere, oxygen and carbon being slowly stripped away by the solar wind. These observations confirmed something crucial. Venus is losing its atmosphere, and this process may have been what dried up its ancient oceans. After decades of silence, Venus is once again in the spotlight of space agencies. NASA is preparing two major missions, Da Vinci and Veritas. The first will send a capsule plunging through Venus's atmosphere, collecting chemical data and high-resolution images until it reaches the surface. The second will perform the most detailed mapping ever made, with precision down to 50 feet, capable of identifying even recent magma movements. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency is planning the Envision mission, which will study the link between Venus's geological activity and its climate. For the first time, deep penetration radar will attempt to see beneath the crust, perhaps revealing ancient lava channels or layers of rock shaped by long-vanished water. Venus stands as a living reminder that similar worlds can follow entirely different destinies. While Earth flourished, Venus burned. Understanding its story may reveal not only what it lost, but what we still stand to lose. Perhaps when we look at that bright point in the sky, we shouldn't see just a neighboring planet, but a mirror of what our own world could become if climate balance is ever broken. Venus is more than an astronomical enigma. It is a silent warning rising from clouds of acid and fire.